I'm trying to think about what constitutes empathy and uh, what constitutes opportunities and missed opportunities to make con connections and engagements. What constitutes um, uh, a sense of uh, memory, uh, remembrance, um, sense of accountability, responsibility, in terms of just thinking about the murdered and missing the indigenous women in Canada. Since the video projection called Presente, uh, it's a series of almost like slide dissolves of flowers, one going into the next, so there's a, a lovely trans transformation and a dissolve. But in between each of the, uh, in the center of each of the dissolves, there's an image, a one frame image of one of the pages that's taken from the CBC website documenting uh, 285 of the murdered and missing indigenous women in Canada. I felt that it was important to represent them, but I also felt conflicted about showing their image. And uh, the way I thought I could do it was to actually make it go by so fast that when you're seeing or experiencing these beautiful transitions and dissolves, that there's this violent, sudden, sharp kind of glitch or interruption. Uh, for this current work, I was quite inspired by my research in Nanjing, in China, for the Nanjing Massacre Museum. And I also went to Santiago, Chile, to look at the, some of the memorials and uh, places where people were detained and tortured. For my work, I wanted something really quite beautiful, and uh, it's really about sharing love as well. So for instance, the, the piece behind you, which is called uh, Our Beloved, I, when I went to the cemetery in Santiago de Chile, I, I felt there was so much love there, and I, I thought this piece, in a way, it's, it's a borrowing of the love and, and spreading it and sharing it here.